You coming with me? You coming with me? You coming to the outfit? Let me check back up. My bag. Luna. Birthday bag. Here's the baby. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Arms in the back. <laughs> We're on our way to Heathrow. happy <laughs> he's not feeling it no don't like leaving you alone it's so warm it's too warm <gasps> it's 33 degrees that's insane Lovely. Cool, eh? You guys should come to dinner with me. Definitely need that. Definitely need that at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> I might have to get a message Becky. Because I'm at the Hilton. I'm staying here with the lovely Becky. Uh, we've got dinner soon. That'd be very swanky. Swarf? Swanky? Swanky? Oh, get back on. Did you last wave? I never go anywhere on my own. Nobody and I go everywhere together. It's horrible. 
Okay, it's going back into the Hilton. Message Becky, find out where she is. Let's stand out here for another few minutes, actually. Just trying to get my breath together. An emotional thing, isn't it? It's so emotional. Oh. Sitting in these very swanky seats, looking very hot and sweaty. Wait for Becky. Come sit back here. Very nice. I'll have to show you around because it's a really nice hotel. In fact, you know what? I'll show you around now. Let's go. Taking you to the room so we can see everything. Lift going up. I think this is going to be one of my trekking outfits. It's so warm. It's so warm today. And I think we need a traditional jumping on the bed. I've chosen the one by the window. I was here first. Right. <laughs> Styled out perfectly. <sighs> so it's a bit dark over there, so I'll come a bit closer. <sighs> oh, this is kind of like evil mastermind, but look good. So, yeah, so Mum and Robbie have just left me. I'm just waiting for Becky to get to the hotel. We're staying at the Hilton. Um, everybody else is staying at the Premier Inn. Um, so it's a bit, you know, it'd be nice to have seen everybody, but it'll be nice for me and Becky to have a bit of a chilled evening, have some dinner. Yeah, we'll be all refreshed for tomorrow. Um, I think I might have a shower because I'm all a hot, sweaty mess. So goodness knows what I'm going to be like in the Alps. But, yeah, this is sort of thing is really, um, it's really interesting to kind of talk to a camera or to technically talking to myself, um, but to kind of diarise your life is such a random thing to do and such a weird choice. I never thought this was anything that I would ever do, but um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to film the Alps and to watch it back and to see how I was in the beginning, how I am now, compared to what I'm like at the end. Because if I'm honest, I'm really, I'm really nervous. Um, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I mean, my mum and Robbie leaving me here, <laughs> leaving me here, but you know, that going, that that's so difficult and that's so horrible and awful and I think gosh like the people that are leaving their kids and Luna like my little doggy you know that was horrible and it's her birthday today so happy birthday Luna sorry I've left on your birthday but it all just it's a lot it's a 
it's a big experience and big experiences I share with Robbie and he's not here and you know it's horrible <laughs> but um it's a once in a lifetime thing and I'm really grateful that I've got Becky because she's she's just been amazing she's helped me so much over the last few months that we've gotten close and you know she's she's been on her own journey you know that's not words people don't like it people do but she's been on her own one and we've really supported each other I feel over the last few months you know a lot's been going on I put it obviously put a lot of it on my channel with our IVF journey and um, my scans and my TCT scan and my bone scan and yeah even now thinking about it talking about it I get really emotional but um yeah we've she was really there for me you know <laughs> and she I panic and she calms me down so yeah it, she's great and um yeah obviously I'm glad we're at Hilton because it's lovely but um yeah I'm just it's just I know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm really grateful and I am thrilled to be on Team P I'm not gonna lie I did meet Candice and she was incredible I happily would have been on her team but I don't know I feel like being on Team P was a million miles away from cancer land and now I just sort of want this to be like a girl's holiday where we happy happen to do some walking because I've made a true friend and I feel like we can just not talk about that because I know it's about that it's for that charity but at some point I feel like I really need to just move on you know and that's not happening because <laughs> a lot happens behind the scenes you know I've posted one or two videos that I felt I felt like a lot of my videos are very positive they're very I try and be as positive as I can be but that obviously isn't the reality a lot of the time and I feel like that is 10% of my life and 10% of what you actually see because there's a lot of meltdowns and there's a lot of sadness a lot of tears a lot of fears there's a lot and I didn't want anyone to think that I'm like that all the time positive all the time so that's why I felt there had to be a balance I think I don't think I'm gonna post anymore so you've got two but um yeah I just I just wanted you to know that I struggle too you know and it's um well oh, it's normal it's normal to struggle but I am here for the happiness I even have these I made these for our little super chat we've got a little super chat and they're amazing love you girls and I made them these for the last night. They love them. Can you see Becky's? It's on her pillow. There is. Look, look like a proper little bohemian. I did have some sparkly leggings I thought I might bring, but I didn't because they wouldn't fit in my bag. And um, not really. They're a bit itchy, so I didn't. But anyway, I'm going to message Becky now. Find out where she is because she should be back now. Well, she should be on the bus now. But yeah, so future Georgie, I hope you had an amazing time. I hope you didn't feel that the need to be this nervous because this Georgie is freaking out. Yeah, future Georgie, I hope you had an amazing time. I hope you learned things about yourself. I hope you got yourself back to yourself because I know you don't feel like yourself anymore. And now I'm talking to myself in the third person. I think it's getting weird and I should probably go. So yeah, let's go guys. This is the start of it. Journey to the French Alps. Let's go. Oh guys, Becky's here, Becky's here, Becky's here. Oh my life's just coming down. She's here. I'm running. She's in reception. Stop it. Hotel key. Oh my god, the room key. That's it. How crazy my hair's gone. I have to have a shower before I have dinner. Look at this. What's going on? Oh, look, there's me. And then there's me. And then me, me, me. Hmm. Let's go get her. Go for the you. I didn't know if Becky wanted to be in it, but now she's in it and now I'm going into a wall. Oh no. <laughs> Genuinely come. Okay, this is probably what. Right, okay. Round to the left. You know what? We're actually just loving this. This is just great for like our. <laughs>
I love that you've now taken over. You're, yeah. you're totally. Well, we is this because you can drive and I can't? Do I go left or right? <laughs> yes, I'm officially a driver, so there you go. And I'm a passenger princess. We are in the executive twin, which is for I thought. Oh, yeah. This one here. This one. Go past it. What room? And I've got this in my bag. Which one? What number? Four or four. Four or four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we're in. Yeah. Do you want to look? Yeah. That. Oh. Do you? Does this come in, or do we just take the bag off? Yeah. All right. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so you hold the door. Yeah. Okay. Right. But. So cute. Cinematic, cinematic burger shop. Aha. Genuinely, Georgie. And Becky. <laughs> it's video. It's burger. It's Becky. My ear, my ear looks massive. There you go, that's what it looks like in the middle. <gasps> Is it a middle burger shop? Middle burger shop. <laughs> Got you in it. I suppose I'd better dry my hair. Because we go in like how many hours? dried my hair now. I'm gonna get in bed. Can't believe we go tomorrow. Can you believe we go tomorrow? Wow. The last time I'll be sleeping in a normal bed for like a week. Just washed all my hair. It's weird length, whatever. <sighs> Exciting. Yes. Scared. So many emotions. Look, she's here. Night, guys. I can turn this off now. You can push this. I got two. Four. Well, at least I didn't. You know, I crashed. You didn't. Okay. <laughs> the question is, will we have time for breakfast? I don't think we will. It's right. We are. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's a perfect Tetris. Still going. I feel like this is like a Disney. <laughs> Like you're gonna start a ballad, yeah? <laughs> We're in the lift with the dogs. <laughs> See, I could be a Disney princess. Okay. We are encountering the breakfast. And bagels. Honey.
out the coffee. Okay, so we made it to breakfast, but we don't have time for breakfast, so we have takeaway baggies. And we checked out. Becky's running already. Oh, she's got stuck. <laughs> she's in our fancy hotel and she gets stuck. Do, 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 do. Hey, will I see it as well? Oh, no, I missed the hole. Oh, no. Okay, now I'm going in. Bye, Hilton. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh, what a lovely morning! The sky's nice up there. Isn't it? Ooh. Hilton selfie! It's already hot. It is already hot. It is, and I've got my coat in my bag. Oh, I thought you were doing selfie. I just smiling for ages. Officially checked in. Here at the airport, we're just wandering through duty free, gonna look like a sandwich for later. We don't actually eat until about half seven, so we don't wanna I don't wanna be don't wanna be hungry, even though I've got loads of cookies and snacks. But um yeah, there's a lot of people just like feeling really overwhelmed at the minute. I feel like just crying my eyes out. But trying to just, you know, keep it in and keep it whatever, you know. Yeah, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed, but yeah, I'm hoping that'll change. That's where you're going though, isn't it? in five days and the very best of luck. Thank you. This is like a plain selfie. <laughs> Apparently, Pete has missed his flight. So Team Pete is now Team Nobody. So hopefully he turns up, but who knows? So yeah, just landed in Geneva. Still feeling overwhelmed, but not as much.
And we're here at the camp. Almost. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yes, and you're Got our toilet roll and our little name thing. Why is this even called? A number? I'm on two four. Oh, the main sheet. Got these glasses. Oh, like, really randomly far. Becky, selfie with our toilet roll and numbers. It's a lot. It's water, didn't it? I'm being the first one to undo the tent. I'm undoing it. There's like a little window. Who cuts who on the group said We are all in the tent. I'm too warm, so I've had to change my top. It's so warm out here. Um, yeah, but we're all set up. I've got my bed together, I've put a fleecy liner inside. I've got my fleecy socks and pajamas, which is part of these fairy lights, which I think are gonna look really cute. Look, a cool bag full of snacks. And put my day bag, my, well, my big bag here. And then some cookies and stuff. And then my bag for tomorrow is all ready to go. So um, yeah, exciting. Just need to put these out now. So yeah, that's yeah. that's what we've got to get used to. Um, right, I'm find that in the 
is here. Okay. So he said, hold the fork, Gaffer. <laughs> I am coming. <laughs> Please apologise to the team from me. It's a bit of a falls up, uh, but I shouldn't be too late. Um, and then he said, um, they better be ready for the whirlwind when I arrive. <laughs> So he's up for it. He's probably belly knackered, but he's up for it. And he's thinking of you all, and he's sorry. And he will be here today. Might be quite close to the end of the day, but he will be here today. So, um, so yeah, I did say give him loads of grief, but I think he's feeling pretty bad. So you might not want to go in with that first first thing. Um, congratulations to you all for the fundraising and the training you've done. Please tell me you've done some training. Yes. Good <laughs> start. Um, it's a huge achievement and we look like it's really on target for the 450,000 that was your goal and it looks like it's really, really achievable, which is immense, so well done for that. Um, we've got time now to do some introductions, so hopefully some familiar faces um, and we're just going to go through some real basics that you need to know before dinner and then everything else, we've got a, a sort of bigger... Uh, admin um, briefing about the actual day tomorrow and things like that, more technical stuff after dinner, uh, so that you don't forget anything. But this is just really introductions. So um, Pete, Pete the legend is going to be our figurehead, our motivator, our ambassador. You'll think of lots of things to call him as the week goes on. <laughs> and nothing is off the radar. Um, feel free. Uh, the more abuse you give him, the more I love you. I can feel. Um, and then we are really lucky to have two fantastic local guides who know the routes and are going to be front and back of the group throughout. Please don't go in front of the front one and behind mm -hmm. the back one. You will be contained within that. Yeah. 
And so that's something that we're really, obviously, so honoured to have you. Kelsey's back. <laughs> Kelsey, there will be some dance moves with Team Kelsey. Um, so good luck with that. Team Anna. <laughs> Anna is new to, to the captain team. Uh, and I've got to say, I was, I was talking to Gail today, and um, Anna comes with a, not, like, with a desire to get to know people and to find out about them. She comes with an interest in people. And for me, that is what makes an exceptional captain, an, acceptable, an, accept, an exceptional person to walk with. Because that is what all of you have to do this week. You have to have a desire to get to know everyone in your team, because that is what's going to pull you all through. If you know why someone is here, if you know what this trek means to someone that you're walking alongside, that is going to give you all the fire to get up the mountain. <laughs> um, obviously, there is one captain who isn't here. <laughs> I was saying earlier, Polly had 120 of you to get here. She did it perfectly. I had seven people to bring, including myself, and I lost one. <laughs> um, so cool today. So we've had a WhatsApp group just to make sure that we all knew where we were meeting today. And I left it. We were meeting at nine. I left it till 20 past. And I thought, it's OK. I'll, I'll phone him now. He'll be nearly here. So I phoned him and was like, all right, G. He's like, hey. Where are you? It's like, home. <laughs> <laughs> a second, I thought he's pranking me, but then I realised it really did sound like he was at home. There was no background noise. Um, that was my response was, you meant to be at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and he has been absolutely mortified. <laughs> I need to say that this is going to be a running theme throughout the week. We are going to rip him for the entire week. And he cannot live it down. I hope he's brought his soul song with him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's as, you know, like a, a proper story. Put <laughs> him wearing the gold song. Oh, I'm just putting it out there. Um, we have two floaters who are up. I just love them so much and they bring so much to the trek. Um, we have our trek spurt, Gail. Come and stand up. Come on, stand up. She is always nude, it's true. Um, I just say, Gail has so much knowledge in trekking. Um, she's done so many treks, been on so many adventures. She has so many stories to share. Lean on her because she is wonderful. Uh, and the other floater is Kelly. <laughs> As you can see, they're really shy and retiring. Um, uh, but Kelly came with us. You're going to trek Scotland, right? Yes. Uh, as uh, as a trekker, and then watching Kelly in action as she got everyone up that hill alongside uh, Candice, it was absolutely incredible. So she came back to the Sahara, and in the Sahara we were like, we need you actually to be a bit more of like a permanent fixture. Because the way that Kelly operates to get people motivated is something I've never seen before. Um, so make sure that you touch base with Kelly as well. Someone has lost a bag, haven't they? And obviously with us every day we're going to have our doctors who are absolutely amazing giveaway. Uh, I just want to say, so um, back in June, Chris had her funeral and um, so when we went to Northumberland, it was right off the back of that, literally I flew to Northumberland and we started trekking straight away and something was said um, at the funeral and it was a quote which I'm going to totally paraphrase, but it's the fact that there are two days in your life only two that have less than 24 hours, but it is the second one that makes us realise how precious life is and how much life is for living. Um, so I want you to spend this week absolutely celebrating the fact that you are here, you are able to do this, you can walk up that mountain, it's only walking! <laughs> um, and I just want you to make the most of every minute that you're here. There are going to be highs and lows, we know that, right? It's not going to be a walk in the park. No one is going to sponsor you for a nice stroll through Hyde Park. <laughs> it doesn't happen, okay? We've raised a ridiculous amount of money. There are going to be tears, there are going to be blisters. You're going to need to lean on each other. So be that support. Be the support that you might need tomorrow. That's my biggest tip. 
pack your sense of humour and make sure Peter rides on time. That's what we want to do. All right, but it's going to be the best week ever and I can't wait. <laughs> a mega meltdown or a sob in my heart out. Thank you, Maria, Claire, Becky, and Candice for looking after me. I had like a proper, you know, like a teenager when they <gasps> I was like that. I just couldn't stop crying. It's just a complete mess. But um, yeah, I feel a bit better now. I've got it out. I feel like it's gonna come again. I don't know what it was. It just seemed to be on the plane. It was just, the whole thing's just overwhelming. And I just kept thinking, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I don't wanna be here. I just wanna go home. But Robbie was sending me messages of support and Haby and AJ and Mom. Thank you. And yeah, I'm calmer now. Becky made me put a sleep mask on. And I ended up getting peppermint in my eye. So that was a whole thing. But I'm happier now. Apparently Pete's on his way. So I'm just uh, waiting to use the loo. So um, <laughs> a bit ill arrived when I go to that. But yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. I think the cry helped. I think maybe that was quite a lot of anxiety and crying that needed to come out, but we're good. This is everything at night. It's so dark, look. I can't see anything. And that thing over there, I thought that was a plane. You see that light up there? I thought that was a plane. Nope. That's the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> 